next we're going to go into talking about the DGNWS file. So this is a file that you're going to have one of these for every single work set or one of these for every single project. So every single project has only one DGNWS file. This file, it's going to hold the work set properties, sheet index, and link sets. So work set properties would be, um, this is the open screen for Open Roads Designer. I have my work set as project ABC. Here are the properties. You can click here for advanced properties. So all of these properties, if you add any custom ones, they're going to be saved and written to the DGNWS to where no matter what DGN you open, you will see these properties. You can also access these properties. Um, right here, I have a DGN open in this instance of Open Rose Designer. And if I go to File, Properties, it opens the properties of the DGN. If I scroll down, it works that properties. And so that is from the DGNWS file. And then the next thing is the sheet index. So the DGNWS also stores the sheet index. So here is my explorer, the sheet index. You can see project ABC. So it matches the name of the DGNWS, which is the same name as the project. And this contains all of the sheets that you want added to your project. And you can have multiple DGNs pointed to this contained within your sheet index. So for example, I have three in here right now. Two of them are from this cross-section DGN. And one of them is from um, this plan sheets DGN. And you can make changes within the DGN so you don't have to go to the DGNWS and load that. You just you can make changes no matter what DGN is within the project. Um, you can just click this to open it to edit. And then when you're done making changes, just set it back to read only. And then the last thing is this link sets. And this is more of a platform functionality. So I just kind of wanted to mention it. But this is also contained within the DGNWS. Okay, let's see. I already highlighted that. Um, so location, the default location for the DGNWS is going to be that root folder. So if you want these to point to a different location, you are going to want, it is this variable right here. You want to define this variable to the folder path for where you want all of those DGNWS files to be contained. And that is typically going to be defined within this workspace setup CFG. Um, there is a right here, work sets DGNWS root. You would add and change it to the folder path that you wanted to here. Okay. There's a few rules for DGNWS files. I already said that every single work set only has one DGNWS and it has to have a DGN, every single work set must, it must have a DGNWS with it. Um, so whenever you're creating new projects, you, let me go back to my example one. So say you wanna create a new project, we do not recommend copying the DGNWS from a previous project and renaming it. Do not do that. Um, so don't, Come in here and copy and paste. Don't do that. You can copy and paste, but don't do this DGNWS file. So I'm going to delete that. And then you want Open Roads Designer to create it for you. Um, so if I launch Open Roads Designer, we can watch over here in the left as it loads. It'll create that DGNWS file for me. Um, so you see it created it right there. Um, and then there's my other work set. So, um, let's see, let me delete those. And so that it pulls it from, um, these templates right here. 
So it's pulling it from this template. Um, so yes, that's the DGNWS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.